Right, well, hi everybody, and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. As you can see, I'm back out, and hopefully the title is right for the video. I'm out on a three day, two night solo uh, survival challenge. No food, no water, no container. Um, the only kit I've got, where is, is my small chest rig which you've all seen on many many occasions with his carrying it on every single weekend I'm away camping so I thought it's about time that I put this kit to a test and put myself to a test so I've come up to the rough area of uh, where I've got a permission up in Holt Whistle I'm not going to actually be camping on this bit of land because it's a bit public and um, yeah I might come back down here for a little bit of foraging and a little bit of hunting later on tomorrow or later on tonight because it's about about half three in the afternoon now um finished work at seven o'clock this morning so i've had a couple hours kip so already i'm on a back foot because i've got lack of sleep and uh yeah so what i need to do is i'm gonna head up this way and around to the left of the river and head up into amongst all them big trees up the top end there and try and find a nice spot all right um yeah i've got a very small day sack on my back we'll show you that later on all that's got in is is me me camping uh, me what do you call it me me camera kit me electrics and things like that and it's got a backup torch just in case i need it for an emergencies and the only bit of clothing that's in there is a pair of goat uh, pair of waterproof bottoms that's it I've got no sleeping kit, nothing. All right, it's a very minimum kit. I've got plenty of survival stuff inside of here. We'll have a quick run through it later on if I have time. Um, basically, I've got enough stuff in there to make myself a shelter, to forage food, like fishing kit, um, snares, bits and pieces like that. Okay, I've got a, well, all sorts. I'll, I'll explain it later on. So I'm sort of going to waffle mode. Also, to try and help us catch some rabbits or pigeon or something. I'm not a fantastic shot on the catapult, but I thought I might as well bring that as well. Okay, so that's basically the kit I've got. Right, but there is, I'll put it up on the screen now. There is a video showing the majority of the kit that I have in this chest pack. All right, it's, it's quite good for carrying a, quite, a, quite an abundance of kit. I've got a few ideas for making containers, but as I'm walking around, I'll be looking for other people's rubbish and see if I can use that. All right, so yeah, beautiful place this. I've done a camp just down the bottom here and uh, yeah, I love it up here. But I'm gonna go off the beaten track and head up into the woodlands, get around the other side of the river. I need to find somewhere that's close to the river, but not close enough where I'm gonna get spotted all right i need to try and get set up some sort of cover obviously i've got a poncho over it so making a shelter is not going to be too hard but i need to try and adapt it so it keeps us warm at night because i've got no sleeping equipment whatsoever let's try and get through this gate so anyway i'm going to switch off for now and i'm going to start looking through here and see where i can go Right, well, I'm just walking through all this. There's a few little swampy areas. So I think I've put my foot in a couple, but I can see a nice bit of area up here. And uh, yeah, it's looking more promising. But I've got to watch my foot because I kind of see what's underneath all this growth. Oh, there's a tree down there, like. That's looking really good there as well, like. I'm going to check this area out first. 
and uh, walk around that way. But yeah, I think I might have found the area. It's not too far away from the river. So that's happy days. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of bird activity in here. Oh yeah, that's looking all right. Tell you what, I'm getting thirsty. Yeah, happy day is this. Looking good. And it's a way, the path's right the way down the bottom there. So by the time I put a fire on tonight when it gets dark, I doubt anybody will be down this area in any way. Right, me being me, I'm on my travels again. I've had a quick look at the map and uh, yeah, I think there's a better area down this way and uh, there's a couple of farmyards just over the back end there as well like so I want to try and stay away from public buildings and that but already walking down here <laughs> this is looking better uh, it's right near the river there's a few swampy areas, but we've got a lot of streams coming down off the bank, so as you can see here. Um, but, it is what it is. And there's the river just there. I cannot believe, I'm happy to see it like, but I just can't believe that I haven't found a single empty beer can, coke can, bottle of water, anything like that, uh, on my walks around here. So, but, uh, yeah, unbelievable like, but it's happy to see that. Right, I'm going to go this way along the riverbank. On the map there is a little bit of an island down the bottom here somewhere, but I don't fancy crossing that like. Oh, right, well, the thing is, it's half past four in the afternoon. It doesn't get dark at about half nine, ten o'clock. So I've got um, ample time to find the perfect location to do this challenge. Um, the only thing I'm lacking at the minute is a drink. So as soon as I can find a decent area to get down next to the river, I'll be getting me sire filter out and uh, getting myself a drink. Like, oh, what we've got over here looks like some rubbish or something. Looks like an old sink. Aye, looks like an old, an old sink or something. But yeah, this is looking canny like. Looking better down here. Happy days, happy days indeed. It's good to go on a little adventure and see what we can find. Because you just never know, do you? And uh, they might come across the perfect place, but obviously, as you can see, we've been doing a bit of tree felling here and have piled all the logs up. Oh. Looks like there's a bit of a stream or something at the back end there. Oh, oh, oh yeah, look at this. Straight up onto the onto the river. Let's, let's go down here and it's looking beautiful down the bottom end there as well. And this is looking a lot more flatter and accessible as well. So we'll have a skirt around this area. See if we can get down to the river. No, it is. If I could camp down next to the river, it'd be brilliant. Obviously, probably get out of the way by Midges Lake. So, yeah. So, it looks like a little bit of an offshoot. That must be the little island I could see on the map. So, I'm not far away from where I want to be. There's farms over there, about three, four hundred metres. So, I think if I'd stop around this area, light discipline is going to be a factor in tonight. Like, not that I'll be sitting around all night because I'm not brought no alcohol or anything stupid like that. Like, but uh, yeah, to be honest, like, I wish I was on the other side of the river because it looks mint over there. Absolutely mint. But yeah, uh, season for getting down. Back to the water.
Jubbly, jubbly. Fasten it up. Have a go. Some water. Back in my bag. Right, what we'll do is we'll go off off the side of the river into some shade and I'll get myself some water across this little bit of a stream and up onto the embankment oh look at this yeah I've never seen this oh look at this it's like a little stone area oh hey I wonder if this could be the place to stop it's a bit near the public path like what have I just found in the back there as well look oh is that a tub oh look at this it's like an old building isn't it oh it's brilliant what we've got under here that could come in handy yeah right I think I'm going to find myself somewhere to sit. I might camp here, you know. And I can always take me, me basher down when I'm finished. So there's a nice wall here to sit. And I've got this blue container. And I've got this water here to sort out. So happy days. Right, well, it's nice to find somewhere to sit down. I've, um, it's now nearly five o'clock, so I need to make a decision about using this area for tonight and uh, get set up. I've got water source there and uh, this little area here, it's got like brick walls and everything. I think I'm still going to push on a little bit like I feel as if it's still in a bit of too much of a public area. But I definitely need to get a bit of a drink in it, so I'm going to get some of this river water. Like I said, I ain't got no no container or anything, but uh, oh, tastes all right to me. I don't lose me o-ring. That's the last thing I want to lose. And we'll get this fastened up. I'm going to leave this blue container here for now. And I'm just going to check the surrounding area and then start thinking about setting up a camp. So I think this could be the place to be. I just want to push forward a little bit further. I'm, a, I'm an explorer and I'm very fussy when it comes to areas and uh, I think this is a bit of a pub, public path and all. So the last thing I would want is some dog walker coming past when I'm snoring my head off in the morning. Um, so you get me soya filter put away. Oh, I know there's been quite a lot of, lot of waffle in here at the minute. Obviously, as you can see in the bag, I've got like um, stereo, stereo tablets and all sorts. Um, but if you're interested in what I've got in my kit, we'll have a quick run through it later on when I have a bit of a lull and sit and chilling. But at the minute, the day, the supper, this afternoon, all it's been is uh, a case of yomping around everywhere, different places. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be like for rabbits around here, but up, right up the top end, a few miles away now, um, I know there's plentiful up there, but it's just too public. But anyway, I'm going to head off up that way, see if there's somewhere to set up the camp, and if there is, happy days, and if not, I'll just keep on moving. So, 
for about four and a half hours still so I've got bags of time. I'd rather find the perfect location than just make do with the first thing I come across. Right well just walking along the path and I've just come across this nice pint glass oh seems like there's no brakes in it oh yeah happy days I'll keep that it's down here in this little stream oh let's get myself put that up there get myself up before I sink in the ground whoop I've just fell away so that's happy days so I've got a a glass there. I'm still looking for somewhere to keep like I think I might head back into where the um the pine woods was even though there's loads of rabbits in that down here because I can easily just pack up and move on can't I stash my gear and then come back down this way but I've enjoyed my little adventure so far it's just a pity that this is all totally uh massive I don't know whether to risk going right the way up the top there could be something and nothing like um, Right well, here I go again through Tick City Try and find my way back onto the main track without falling down any ditches or into the river I know there's a ditch down here somewhere and the river's right there I think this is the way I come through the last time I think it is in any way it may not be like, I think I bet you have walked all the way through this and I didn't have to oh there we go there's the fence there's the track oh that was a good guess good guess that but yeah I'll quickly check my cell out right there doing all right so far but yeah back along the track Okay then, I found my area to stay tonight and it's right next to where I found this this blue bin I'm going to take that over to my area because I'm going to use that and I've got that glass as well now I need to concentrate I need to get some more water and uh, what I need to do is I need to start getting the shelter up now I've found a lot of stuff lying around that's already been pre-cut I'll show you where it is but this is a lovely flat area in between two trees alright so hopefully my tarp will fit the wind's coming from the direction of the, the woodland uh, sorry from the direction of the river so that'll be my view for tonight but what I've got up here is if I remember where I've seen it up the top here there's absolutely loads of logs and everything being cut and loads over there so once I get my top set up or I might hump loads of them over first and uh, there's just an abundance of stuff here the ground's nice it's flat all right all I, need, all I need to do is get a few branches cut not too many uh, get them down get me top up and then start thinking about building the, the perimeter of my camp. Brilliant. Happy days. 
Right, well, it's 25 past nine. The mozzies are getting terrible, like, I'm not sure if you'll pick them up on the camera, like, but I've been getting savage by them. So I've ended up putting one of my face veils over my face. I've got one over on the top of my head, just to stop them penetrating through there, and my hat on. Um, yeah, so now anyway, it's 25 past nine. I've been doing a few things off camera. Obviously, I've been collecting a few more big, massive, long logs, just in case I need them. I'm not going to cut them up, though, because it's just takes too long with that little knife i've got a lot of bits here that i have actually processed snapping them up and cutting them and things and i've got some little bits there uh i, I should have had twice three times as many of the little bits like but anyway um off camera i've set me foil blanket up underneath me shelter all right so basically i've just tied it off on this this bit here and then got a bit of a tie off going on this side all I've done is put a little bit of foliage inside of there, as you can see, and then tied a loop around it. And I've got this nano cord going up onto me, um, me corner of me top. All right, and then I've done the same on the bottom corners and at the back as well. And I've just put my day sack under there just to keep it pushed up a bit as well where I'm sitting. But I'm going to get the fire started in a second because uh, the midges are doing me napper in like. Right, let's get the fire started. As you all know, my fire kit, I always keep a fire kit in my day pack, in my chest pack in any way. I think I've just went and ripped the bag. Never mind there. Oh, it's all ripped. So I'm just gonna get one of these fire starters out. I'm not, I'm not being a total 100% survival and going out with nothing on, on his whatsoever and having to rub sticks together and things like that. All right. So that's just not me, all right? What you see is what you get. I take a car, this is what I carry all the time when I'm out camping, so that's why I'm doing it. See if I can use this stuff that I'm carrying. But anyway, let's um, get me, oh shit, where have I put it? Oh no, I've put my knife down somewhere, I don't know where I've put it. Oh, fuck. Oh, hey, I thought I had a disaster there. I thought I'd lost my knife. But anyway, let's get the, um, the saw blade out. For me striker. And let's get his face down to the fire. So basically it's just one of these cotton things. All right. And a ferro rod and this. There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just put that down there. Put that there for a second. Wet moss over there. Oh, I don't want to put too much of this stuff on. I don't want a huge fire, but I like that smoke. Like, oh yeah. Gone. See, survival fire. Get that smoke over here. Oh, lovely. Smoke's going in there away from the fire, away from the shelter, so that's happy days like. Well, there you go. There's my glass nearly full with water there, so I'm just going to cap that off. Let's have a look at it. Got a little floater in there. <laughs> floater. I've got loads of little floaters in there. So, yeah, I've got me um, me stingy nettles in. Makes a bit of a flavoured water. Looks nice and clear, that doesn't it? Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spin you around here. And obviously, what I don't want to do is I don't want to put this right into the fire because it's glass and it would burn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find an area where it's going to stand up roughly oh, that would be ideal so I think you can see that so there you go and there's the fire going I've put my glass there 
and I'm just going to let that burn lovely. And I'm not having a massive fire, it's just enough to keep the embers going. decided it's time to put me me extra layers on and uh, I'm gonna have a taste of this this, this uh, water or oh, glass is a little bit warm the water is only lukewarm like but uh, you can smell you can smell the, um, the stuff in it like the uh, the Bloody hell, it's just gone out my head. The stingy nettles, I'm actually kind of warm, like, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, not bad that. It's actually got a quite nice taste to it. Apparently, it's got a lot of goodness in there for you. So, <laughs> let's see what tomorrow brings. I'm going to switch off for now and get comfy on my bin bags. And hopefully I'll sleep tonight. I keep thinking I'm seeing things in the back of my head, but it's not, it's the reflection of the um the sheet. Oh yeah, I've been really lucky, fingers touch wood and all that uh, cross fingers and touching wood and all that. Uh the the wetness and the rain has not appeared. So that's great, like it's so peaceful down here, like obviously you can hear the bird noises and all that, which is absolutely fantastic. So, and anyway, I'm going to get some of this water down my neck, so I've got fluids in us. And uh, fingers crossed, I'll be all right, and I'll see you in the morning. All right, see you later. Right, well, I, I'd look at a pretty white light on. Um, yeah, it's half past two in the morning, and uh, I've woke up about four times so far. I've just went and lit the fire again, um, just to get it back up. I've had to keep on, like, every like hour, I've been waking up putting more wood on the fire and uh, yeah I'm not getting cold whatsoever like to be quite honest so but I think tomorrow I definitely need to improve this bed like because it's just so uncomfortable but um yeah I'm, I'm not doing too bad like but I am I'm still tired so while I'm in tired mode I'm gonna switch off. I just thought I'd put the put the camera on quickly. See that? Um, yeah, it's hard going when you're not in a dust bag and on a nice comfy air bed. So I've got to keep the fire going. It's it's not it's not cold at all, like, but uh, yeah, it could be nicer. <laughs> right. I'm not going to record anything else now until the morning when I'm up properly and it's late. Okay, so see you soon in a bit. I made this fireplace now like it's worked a treat last night that 
Yeah. It's my view from camp. I'm sitting underneath my top. Lovely. Start to warm up now as well. So I think I might get rid of some layers. Get sorted out. Um, so I'm going to spin you around. I've got his held held in my hand. I haven't got his on a tripod. Yeah. I think I'll, uh, I'll I'll get rid of some layers, get me kit packed into my bag, and I might go for a little adventure somewhere. I'll let the fire die down first. Like I'm not just going to walk away and leave the fire going. I've been walking around the surrounding area for like a couple of minutes at a time, trying to see things. But uh, <coughs> no, I think I need to get the fire out because that needs to start the fire again later on today. I've drank all my water. That's the last of my water there, out of that bladder. So I've drank a full bladder of water um, throughout the throughout last yesterday and tonight, last night. So I'm just letting that boil up there, lovely. And uh, I'll take it off, let it cool down a bit, and uh, have myself a nice hot water. See if I can get a few bits of coals off the fire, let them cool right down and use them to clean my teeth. Apart from that, that's it like. Or, I see is when I'm ready to rock and roll. Right, well, I've just got myself a little bit of hazel there. Um, I think it's hazel in any rate. And all I'm doing is I'm just cutting a bit of a chisel end on it. Um, make myself a bit of a digging stick. So I think I'm gonna need to go for a a number two soon. So I need to dig a hole. Then I need to go and dig and look for some worms. Oh. I think that'll do. I don't want it too thin because it'll just snap on the impact. So there you go. Nice little digging tool. Now all I'm going to do is take off all these little sharp bits, just so it doesn't cause any problems for me for my hands. It's much easier when you've got a bigger knife. But multi tools doing its job, like. There we go. One digging tool. Happy days. I tell you what, the woods is very active today. Like there's a lot of animal noise, and a lot of deer barking. The bird activity is amazing. Need to find some worms. It's uh, half past seven, so I need to get my arse in gear, try and catch something, because I'm feeling canny hungry. So. Been less than 24 hours since I ate like, so I'm not gonna die. Dum dum dum. <laughs> Some people at the Ali survival challenges make it so dramatic, did not God, I've got to get some eat. I'm starving. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it throughout the day. Oh, where are we gonna sleep? Let's think. I know what. Let's drink some piss. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun. It's only 48 hours, you know. It's not going to kill us. I may get the shits if I drink something nasty and didn't filter it properly, or if I eat something that I shouldn't eat. You know what I mean? But hey ho. Think upon it of what you would like. <laughs> but me personally, I'm just doing this for fun. It's not something serious. All right. Right. Well, thought I'd come into the woods and uh, find a nice little patch to start digging. And just as I started digging, I come across a little worm somewhere. There's a little one there. Well, let's get me a leaf. Let's put that little worm there. Where there's one, there's normally more. Is that another one there? Another one. It is. There he is. Is that him? Right, that's him there. So I've got three worms there, so that'll do for a start. 
and then I can always come back and try and dig another hole and get some more. So I tell you what, let's go back to where I've seen all the fish jumping up and uh, we'll have a little go of fishing like. So I've got all day, so I'll be quite happy to try this. I've never done fishing before in my life, so it's a total new thing for me, but fingers crossed it works, eh? See you at the river. Right, well, just come down by the river and it started, started bloody raining. Little fuckers, I thought it was going to rain like. But uh, yeah, my little worms are down on the on the log there. I'm just getting ready to put them on. I was looking for my, um, I should put my chest rig on really like. I haven't got a really suitable place to put these. But yeah, um, the rain's kicking in so I'm just putting my jacket on. I don't want to get soaked. So I'm out in this for 24 hours still. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to keep my chest rig underneath here as well. Keep everything nice and dry. So, got my little worms all hooked up on there and early. Right, so I've got this here. My fishing fishing uh, rod. Here's this wipe. And this is what I'm going to be using to fish this morning. I think I should have left my camp up and just just hung out, hung out up there like I think it's going to be a wet day today so let's, let's get this big bad boy on first so I've never done this before like if I can hit the hoop there he is I can't even see the bloody hoop right well Fishing is definitely not my fault here. Like I had four casts and then I've ended up losing my weight and my hook and my bait. So maybe the water's just not deep enough like um so I'm just gonna give up for now. Right well I'm out to catch some dinner today. Fishing's not doing too good. So I've set myself a couple of snares up. Alright. Now what I've done is I've got a stick going into the ground, I've got a bit of wire and it's wrapped around itself and it's going down onto this here. It's about a fist full, a fist um, a fist wide. I've got a little stick at the bottom as well to make sure the rabbit doesn't try and get underneath it. Now the reason why I'm setting a chair for is because there's fresh prints down there and also some rabbit has been out and had a pee here this morning. So it's, a, it's an active hole. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to step away from here and pick up my gear. I've got another one just along here. I'm only going to set the two. Um, I can't remember where it is. It's a bit further along up here next to the bushes. I've got a bit of white tag there so I know exactly where it is. So I don't want to forget it and I can't miss, like leave it there. So what I'll do is I'll leave them for the rest part of the day come back and check on them then I'm going to head off further down that way now and see what I can find Let's see if I can find somewhere nice to um, go and sit for the day chill out try and find a decent area to fish from <laughs> try my last fishing thing and uh, that's it really but the rain's on and off this morning. I don't know if you can see the clouds, but uh, it's getting a bit gloomy and gloomy. I can see a bit of rain falling in the distance there. Oh. But yeah, I've seen about seven, eight rabbits running around up here. Oh, there's one there, look, I just missed it. It went straight in a hole. So that's another hole I'm gonna hit the actus. That's actus. So I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna get another snare up another snare on that hole and then I've got three and that should be it like but as you can see the light coming out here playing and that's where it's just went over here so let's see what's going on over here there there's the hole there's the hole there look it's got an X over the top of it as well so I don't know if somebody's marked that up so anyway I'm gonna get a snare sorted. So I'll show you what I do. All right, so 
Ako sumaya siya. Got me multi tool. All right. What I'm going to do is make myself a nice long bit. I have enough for another snare on this one. Let me sell it off here. Maybe tool out there for now. There's a lot of wear. Right, now the wire's all buckled, so all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to use the stick I've got. Alright, you can use branches as well, I'm just going to lean on it with my chest. All I'm going to do is, I'm just going to run it back and forwards. Put it on the stick, and what that does is, it takes out all the kinks. Makes it nice and easy, and look, it instantly curls. So, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other end. Get me pliers, turn it on itself, make a reasonable loop. Okay, and I'm just going to start twisting it on itself so that locks it in place. And then just slip that through, make it about just over fist height, fist fist width, put a kink in it so it doesn't go on itself and then when the rabbit goes through pull on there and then it'll hold nice and tight and choke it out. Yeah. So all I need to do now is find a stick, stick it in the ground and then Set me snare. So I'll just leave me snare here. Next to me stick and my camera, I'll be back in a second. Right, so that's the snare set down the bottom there. Alright, all I've done is move the, the stick up across the top. This is in the ground, wrapped round, same as the last one. Happy days, like, happy days. Right, but it's time to move on now. I can hear a former across the other side of the river. So I'm going to walk further down. I've got three, three traps set. So I'm just going to mark this up with some mine tape so I know where it is and then, uh, yeah, fingers crossed I should have something to eat tonight. Happy days. Right, well, just found myself a nice seat here with this uh, fallen silver birch. So, yeah, looks like the rain's going to kick in in a second again. It's getting dead dark like so I'm just waiting it out underneath these trees. See if it goes. And here the format across the other side of the river as well. It's starting to get a bit dark like, so I think I'm gonna get wet soon. The trousers are already a bit wet like on the bottoms and the knees when it's been on the floor and that I'm setting traps. But uh, yeah. Starting to get into some long grass now. So oh, I'm gonna start getting wet. But I'm sure I'll dry out in front of the fire the night. I'm trying to get a bit thirsty again now, like. You have so many ideas in your head about what you're going to do on these different types of um, camps. This is something new to me. I'm just going to take my bag off my back for a bit. So I'm carrying most of my stuff in my bag now, like, instead of trying to squeeze it in here all the time. So, I know I said on my post that I was coming up with just this, but I can't carry camera kit and everything in this and in my pockets. So I might as well neutralise the bag as I go. Um, top and that'll be dead easy to set up the night. Oh, what's that down there? It's a, I've just seen it. Some sort of bird just land on the floor and the water. Oh, the melody. Oh, oh, look at that. I think I've scared it off. Like, Let's see if I can get it. There it is, down the bottom there. Alright, got like an orange beak, white white wings and a black body. So if anybody knows what that is, and it makes that tweeting noise. I've never seen one before, like. 
more happy days. Yeah, there's some lovely little areas across this uh, river, like on this river bank. But, uh, it's a case of finding somewhere where you're not going to get seen with a fire on a night time. And sitting here now, I'm hid behind trees and that. And I'm just chilling out. I need to get down onto the, onto the river, like, get a drink of water. I'm starting to feel a bit parched now. It's nine o'clock in the morning. So, got tons of time the day, like, tons of time. My main concern, um, I'm not worried about wood, firewood. There's absolutely an abundance of it next to where I'm going to be camping. Fire's already set up, so that's less work to do. I just need to um, try and get something to eat, like, because I am absolutely Hank Marvin. I'm getting thirsty as well. So, I think I'll go and get a tiny little bit of water in my bladder. I'm not going to show you that because you've already seen us doing it. So I'll just get a bit of water from the river, sit here and take on some fluids. I'll just hang it up on the tree or something. And uh, yeah, take a little face on the tree. <coughs> but yeah, it's, um, I'm enjoying myself. I must, I must admit I'm enjoying this. I like walking around and discovering things and trying different things. Uh, going into Harwood, I love it. I love my base camp, but I like I like being a free agent and roaming around. Um, I just need to find some different areas to go to like this, but with a better area for sitting, getting at live by mozzies now, like. Right, well, that's me back at base camp. I've got some more water getting uh, purified into that glass. Get that down my neck. And uh, fireplace looking all right. So, time we've got now. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, I need to get a, at least a full glass of water down my neck. Because I've only had a, some small bits of uh, drink when I've been out. And I'm, I'm not going to set my shelter up again just yet. Um, what I will do though is I'm going to sit and rest for a bit. I'm feeling really tired now. Like I think if I set my shelter up and put my bed down, I think I could easily get some kip. You don't realise how important drinking loads of fluids is and eating a decent meal when you're out walking around. Maybe I've done the wrong thing, going for big walks and all that. But I need to try and saw some way of getting a rabbit. Try to shoot a pigeon in these trees that's just too high up and I'm crap with a catapult. And as you can see, me fishing is shit. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll put my hands up like I am struggling, like I feel a bit out of breath. I feel really, really thirsty. And I'm feeling tired. Yeah, just had to change the battery. Battery just died on us on 30 odd percent there. So, my glass is about just over half full. So, I think uh, I'll be having a drink soon. Like, but yeah, it's not as easy as it looks. Like I said last night, the build up to this the week beforehand, I had so many things rushing through my head what I was going to do. It was going to be like a breeze, it was going to be so easy. Uh, I was going to come up and build a proper shelter and I was going to make loads of things. I was going to catch a nice big fish, catch a rabbit, <laughs> all sorts. Um, it just doesn't happen like, it doesn't. It's not as easy as it looks, especially when you're, you're not in that skill set. I'm not a forager, I'm not a hunter, and I'm definitely no fisherman. I've never fished in my life. I think the last time I tried fishing was with Rick T outdoors, and he's um, he's real ended up in the bloody in the lake. But yeah, um, I'm finding this harder than what I thought. 
So I'm not going to give in though. I've got to get through till tomorrow. Then I'll be having a big massive dinner. I think I'll hit a McDonald's or something or a chippy on the way. Probably pop in the hot whistle actually. Oh, even just a can of coke. Anyway, go and get me water. I'm going to drink that now. Here it is. It's not the oh, It's not the clearest of waters, like. But uh, let's put me straw up on. I will tell you what, I keep me straw where it is. Oh, my bags just fell out. Of my stuff on. Right. Ooh. I'll get me charger in a minute because it's on the floor. Well, cheers everybody. I haven't said that last night, did I? Because I didn't have any Jack Daniels. Oh. River water. Can it beat it? <laughs> Right, okay then, um, it's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I had a little bit of a chill for a bit, and just gathered me thoughts, thinking about what to do. And I've been collecting some firewood off camera, like. So, I've got a couple of little piles down here. Got some bigger bits up there that need to be cut, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna cut them with in a minute. And I've got this other bit here. Now I've just been, I went and got me survival saw. I'll just sit down for this. Right, I think these are a bit winky wonky there. My apologies. <laughs> right then, survival saw that I showed you. So what I've done is, I've cut a groove in this bit of wood, put it in, and then taped it off with some black and nasty that I carry on my pen. All right, and then I've cut another groove, but what I've had to do is, I've done it off camera because it took ages, but I had to like, Bend it at a certain point, burn it at a certain point, bend it at a certain point, and keep doing that until and keep working it and working it so the the wood bent nicely and it didn't actually snap. All right. So what I've got to do now, because obviously if I'm sawing, the last thing I want to do is this to pop off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get some tape, like so. And then I'm just going to put it round the post. I'm just going to take it off the pen first. And all I'm going to do is put it round the actual chain and onto the, onto the actual bit of wood. Pull it as tight as I can and get it round. And all that's going to do is that's just going to secure that in place. All right, and then we'll have, I went and pressed the record button and stopped recording by accident. So now we've got a, re... a handmade also, I've tested this little bit of uh, material out before and a bit of branch and it's it done all right. Like, So all I need to do now is, I just need to get my knife, change it from the saw part. Get all the bits off. Jam up the knife. And all I need to do is, because this is going to be my handle part, because this is the thicker part. And then all I've got to do, I should have done this beforehand, like, but away from yourself. And watch that I don't hit my hands on the actual cutting blade. And I'm just going to. I'm going to leave the bark on. I'm just, all I'm doing is I'm taking all the little notches off. Just so it makes my hand a bit more comfier when I'm grabbing it. That's it. All right. So, that's nice and comfy. It's tight as out. <laughs> Tie a kangaroo down, sport. Tie the kangaroo down. Actually, I better not sing his songs. 
So anyway, <laughs> let's go and cut some wood. <laughs> oh God. Right then, let's see how this bow saw works then. Oh, fingers crossed, it's gonna be all right. Well, it's cutting and it's much easier than the way you do it with the rings. And obviously, it's, it's not like a proper saw, like it's not gonna cut through dead quick, all right. It's not very often I would do this though, is it really? But it's nice to test it out and see what it's like. But the saw itself is actually holding up quite well. Oh, oh we're nearly there, look. So, bow saw. It's, it's um, cut through that there, bit of hazel. All right. And it's nice and smooth. Ugh, a bit of dust. <laughs> it's bone dry though. This began on the fire, didn't it? So you <coughs> well, was it? The sawdust in my mouth. So using that or using your multi-tool saw. Alright. Obviously, as you can see, it's a little our object, but that's what this is designed for. It's cutting through there, no bother, is it? multi-tool quicker faster more efficient less energy happy days right I think I'll just burn them as long bits of wood and save me energy because it is a survival exercise at the end of the day and I've already walked too many miles lately but I it's a good concept and um, I've always wanted to try one I've tried it possibly get a better a better one of these type of saws ring saw I think it's called or something I can't remember now survival saw um yeah but done the job happy days right then so you've seen a quick time lapse of me bed make okay basically the free bin bags I've emptied the contents in the middle, then I'm adding these spruce boughs here. Okay, I've still got a canny few of them to go on, but I'm just gonna have a quick test now. Obviously, I need to build this end up a bit with loads more foliage, because it's a bit sloping on the bottom. Oh, oh my life. Oh, 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 oh what a difference. What a difference that is, like, that is just pure comfort. So, if I get more and more spruce boughs, what I'm doing is I'm keeping all the big ends at the back there, all right, because that's going to be at the back of the top in any weight, and I'm not bothered about that area at all. This is what my main concern is, this part here, all right. Um, yeah, this is going to be spotty dog this late like, tonight. I'm going to be sleeping so well. Oh, yes. I just need to build this top end up. I think what I might do is I might get my blue bin <laughs> and put that underneath here and that'll raise that up and that'll be my head my head part sorted and then the feet need to get raised up a little bit as well and then it's going to be finger licking good tonight like oh my dear god a proper bushcraft bed and what happens here is these logs are keeping everything stuck uh, together as well I haven't pinned them in at anything like because they're big heavy ones so they shouldn't really move and there, uh, yeah, I've, I'm right in front of the fire, so I just need to adjust my top, uh, put my top up, which I think I might be at the wrong angle. I think I should have been more of this angle, but I can easily 
manoeuvre the bed. It'll take two minutes to manoeuvre it if it's in the wrong position. I just wanted to test it out, like, so I'm not putting my top up just yet. Oh, happy days, like, happy days indeed. First snare. Nothing. Moving on to the next one. Second snare. Nothing. Let's get this down, move on to the next one. Third snare. Nothing either. Oh well. <laughs> Looks like it's oxo cube for me tonight then. Never mind there. Uh, can at least leave them like something new. I need to look into it a bit more as well. I've never done this kind of stuff before. And I might never do it again, to be quite honest. But we'll never know. See you later. Back at camp. Get set up. Woohoo! Right, well, I've been lying in my shelter for a while, having a bit of a snooze. And I've just got woke up by rain. So I need to get some of my little bits of wood onto my bed and under the shelter, make sure it stays dry. And then I think I'm going to go back to Kipley. <sighs> yeah, well, all I can say is this bed's really, really comfortable. It's now, uh, Half past four in the afternoon. I am absolutely shattered. Didn't realise it would take so much out of us this. Obviously, only had about three and a half hours kit before I come out to do this challenge after having the night at work. And there, uh, then obviously last night I was awake off and on every hour. And then I was up early this morning, five, six o'clock. So I think it's all catching up with us now, plus the lack of food. I haven't drank as much water as what I'd normally drink on a whale camp. Oh, and all of a sudden the rain stopped. It must just be a big shower. Oh well, I don't have to move off this bed then. I'll tell you what, it's so comfy though. But yeah, it's tiring. So what all I'm. Right, hi everybody. It's 20 to 7 at night. Um, I've had a bit of a sleep on that bed. It was absolutely comfy as hell, like really, really happy with it. So tonight's going to be a much better sleep, I think. Um, I've woke up, my head's pounding and everything, and I'm feeling a bit, a bit cold as well. So I think it's time to get the fire on. I've just done a little bit more wood prep off camera just to get us warmed up as well and everything. And uh, yeah, so obviously, because we're on a survival three day survival thing right the best way it's a bit of survival kit is a lighter with a lot of black and nasty around it and black and nasty if everybody knows sorry i keep calling it black and nasty um gorilla tape black tape whatever you want to call it all right it's um a great thing you can use it for an abundance of things obviously sticking things together yeah, you can use it for last the plastic apparently the um the stickiness in it's got some antibacteria in it uh, but it also burns really well as well so as long as you've got a lighter that works right it'll set a light now i've got a kind of bit yeah so i'm going to split it into two and it does burn for quite a while only thing you got to watch is like when it's burning, oh, I've just put, oh, oh, ah, ah, oh, oh, that like you don't do that because it sticks to your fingers and it fucking hurts. Oh, you bastard. Right, that's because I'm tired, that. Right, let's get it going again. So there we go, that's that light. Now we're just going to get this other part and set that light. Obviously it gives off a lot of horrible black smoke, so try not to inhale it if you do use it. All right, so that's that light. And we're just going to get some little sticks. I'm just going to place that behind it. Just 
put that over there nice and softly so it doesn't actually smother it. Just let the flames come through. Aye, that really stings that when it sticks to you. I've got it all stuck to there now, so I'm all like, I'm going to be stinging later. I did get some um, silver birch from when I was collecting the rabbit. Well, gone, gone down to see if I had any rabbits, but I've, I've decided not to use it. I'm going to put it in my fire kit. I wanted to use the tape. As you can see, it works great. I found a little, a little friend earlier on. Some sort of bird skull. So I'm just going to leave that on there. Um, and I brought up one of these. Uh, they're really good. Um, nowadays the name's just gone out of my head. I'll put it there in any way. It's great for keeping the midges away. So I'm going to put it on some sticks later on if the midges come out. But as you can see, the fire's going. So that's happy days. The same as last night. I'm just going to keep it small for now. It's still light. I just want this. I just want a bit of heat. Do you know that little bit of like your comfort blanket? And that's it, really. So obviously, you're not be seeing out there because the smoke's gone in your face. In your face, in the camera. Oh. He is a dead high up. <laughs> Alright, so tonight, oh, Oxo Cube. Oh, I can't wait. To pity, I didn't have some salt and pepper with us as well, like, so that would have been a nice drink, that. But uh, I'm going to enjoy this in any way. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to save by the thought of using this, and I'm going to leave it till later on tonight. Uh, it'll be a lovely drink to have. Obviously, I'll have to get me glass, put that next to the fire, heat the water up, and mix this in. I'll make myself a stirry stick, I think. But well, my fingers are really sore, like well, that's just been stuck onto it. Little bastard. I'm sweating a lot, so I apologise. It's because I'm tired. But anyway, I'm just going to get the fire going properly, hide some thicker wood on later on, and uh, I'm going to chill out. I can feel the heat coming already. That's brilliant. Last night, and then tomorrow morning, I'll be packing up. I'll be decamping, making sure this place is uh, leave no trace. And then uh, I'll be heading off into town to get some food and a large cup of tea. I can't wait. Oh, I tell you what, my finger's really sore. Medic! Right, hi everybody. I'm really sorry I've never brought you back for a long time, like, um, to be honest, like, I've just been falling asleep quite a lot. And, uh, yeah, I'm just feeling really, really tired, like, um, there's nothing exciting to happen in any way, apart from me putting a bit of wood on the fire. I've had a couple of glasses of water and that's about it. I will be putting the, the, a glass of water on the fire to make a um, oxo cube before I go to sleep again. Because I, I am absolutely shattered. Like, I think this, this whole experience has just wiped us out. Obviously, not having any sleep, about three and a half hours sleep before I come out in any way. Um, I think everything's just caught up and it's like I'm absolutely knackered. So all I've been doing is putting a bit of wood on the fire. So in any way, I think this is going to be my last bit of recording until tomorrow morning. Because I'm just going to sit and chill out. My fire's just kicking off so I'm going to get some uh, a glass of water. Get that put next to the fire, get it heated up. And I'm going to have my oxo cube. I'm going to put my jacket and that on. And my hat and things and my face mask. My pull over that thing over my face and I'm just going to lie down and can't kip try and get as much kip as possible as I can so right that's all I can say really my apologies everybody 
and I'll catch you in the morning. Right, well, good morning everybody. It's about half past five in the morning and I've got deer running around up on the top there, barking away where it is. So, oh, they're definitely like coming down this little area. Well, last night was the most comfortable night I've had out without um, an air bed or a hammock. Um, it was really comfortable this bed last night. I slept much better. Um, sorry for the lack of footage last night as well, like, I just wasn't in the zone for videoing, there was nothing happening anyway, I was just lying in front of the fire, not, not doing any tasks or anything, I was just absolutely knackered. Um, yeah, so it's about half past five in the morning, the rain's just started, started to, uh, well it's just started to drizzle really. Um, I'm going to be looking at just sort of like squaring away the area, dismantling everything, dispersing everything, making it leave no trace. I need to go to the river and collect some more water because uh, I must have fell asleep. I was thirsty last night and I went to do some um, water filtering and I had like a half a bag of water there and obviously I fell asleep and forgot about my water, so I've lost a half a bag of water to filter it, filter it. but I've got my glass of water there. That'll be enough there to get me sorted for this morning. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit cold, like my fire went out about half an hour ago. I've used all the wood apart from the big bits at the back, which I didn't think I'd burn in any way. They're just too big in any way. I would have just smoked it all night and smoked this out. But uh, yeah, couple of little branches at the bottom there you can see it's still smoldering away but I'm just gonna let that happen now not a bad camp oh dear me oh someone's just walked down my grave in any rate I'm getting cold and I've actually got all my layers on as well and I'm starting to feel really really cold it's a bit more breezier this morning as well it's a bit greyer darker duller so it looks like I might get wet on the way out because it looks like it's going to be raining. I'll have a quick look at the weather forecast on my phone. But that's about it really. Oh, yeah, half past five. It's about, I've got about an hour, an hour and a bit walking to do to get back to the car. So I'm, I'm just going to take my time because when I get back to the car, the first thing I'll be doing is heading into the halt whistle and hopefully finding the sandwich place that's open and getting a big full English study because I am absolutely Hank Marvin. This is the longest period of time in my life I've ever went without food. So that, that's, it's been hard for me this, it's been tiring. I felt like I had no energy um, yesterday. Obviously, I walked around quite a lot as well. I walked about a half a mile down the down the river, checking places out on the first day, and then I went back down about a quarter of a mile, doing setting snares up for rabbits and everything. And then obviously I went back down there yesterday again in the afternoon time, tea time, to check the rabbits. I, obviously, I didn't catch any. Or um, what it was meant to be is meant to be, wasn't it? We catapult. Um, I tried shooting a few pigeons. It didn't happen. I didn't get on camera either, like, but it ended up me elastic. I, I started doing a few practice shots around camp, and me elastic snapped on us in any way, so that went kaput. Um, yeah, a lot of different experiences. Not having a proper saw and having a proper knife, it's hard graft. You've got to try and pick and choose your bits of firewood. Luckily enough for me, I was blessed in this, finding this area. I knew this area was roughly here, but I'd never ventured this far down before along the river. Um, and when I got here, I was like, yeah, this is the place, nice and flat. Lots of piles of already wood. Obviously, somebody's been in here um, doing a bit of woodland maintenance. 
So there was piles of wood everywhere. So all my chunky bits were all ready prepped for us, really. Um, and then finding obviously the, the brick buildings and one of them was collapsed so using the bricks to make a fireplace was even better because the bricks do retain the heat quite a lot like so that's me quick rundown of what I thought about the, this this challenge I need to think of something else another different type of challenge to do I have enjoyed it it's been hard